It's the month of May, so that means it is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, also known as AAPI. Today, we are going to be making a Philly cheesesteak, and instead of doing it the classic way, we're gonna do a little play and call it Philly Pino cheesesteak. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna do a bistec Tagalog, which is pretty much a marinated meat, uh, marinated in soy, calamansi. Um, if you don't have calamansi, you can also do lime or even vinegar. And we'll also be adding in some garlic and red onion to this. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to cut up our onion. And typically for bistec, we like to have the onions cut into rings. But instead of cutting those onions into rings, we're actually going to dice this up so that it is going to be um, a, little, a little bit easier for us to saute and add into that filling once it's ready to go inside that bread. All right, next up, now that we have that onion cut, we're gonna go ahead and cut this bell pepper. And we're also going to cut this up into dice. So go ahead and lay that bell pepper to the side. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go ahead and cut it at a slight angle. And we're just gonna roll that bell pepper and slice so that at the end, we're just left with the core. So now you have just that part, the top and the bottom. So go ahead and just trim this last bottom part off. Okay, and then from here, what I like to do is I like to clean this up just a little bit to take off any of that inside part, that white part of the bell pepper, and then just cut my strips from there. And now you can just line these strips together and dice it. All right, we've got our onions and our bell peppers diced. The next thing that we're gonna cut is our ribeye. So we're gonna cut these into very thin slices and then we'll marinate it. So taking this ribeye, what I like to do is I like to just cut them super thin here. as thin as you can. And the reason why we're doing this now is because we're not gonna be cooking this on a flat top grill where you have two burger spatulas being able to really break them up. So we wanna cut them up into very thin pieces uh, right now before we start cooking them. And then once you have them cut up all into strips, just go ahead and run your knife through them to make sure you have nice smaller pieces. And then just transfer that over into a mixing bowl. Now we're going to marinate this beef. So take a little bit of black pepper and season that up. And we're not gonna be using salt here, here in this recipe because we're gonna get a lot of that salt coming in from that soy sauce. So just pepper. And we're gonna sprinkle in some garlic powder. And you can use fresh garlic here, but we're gonna keep things easy and simple here, so we're just gonna use garlic powder. And next, add in that calamansi juice, as well as that soy sauce. And from here, we're just gonna give that a good mix, making sure that it gets nice and marinated. Now that that meat is fully marinated, we're gonna cover it and keep it refrigerated for 30 minutes, and then we'll cook it. All right, so go ahead and grab a nonstick pan. If you don't have a nonstick pan, you can always use a cast iron or even a flat top grill. And we're gonna put this on about medium high heat here. And you wanna put some oil on there, just enough to coat the bottom of that pan. And in a second here, once this oil has warmed up, let's go ahead and throw in some butter in there to really just melt it up. And that's gonna really flavor that bread. 
And you don't want your pan to be too hot. You wanna just make sure that that butter is melted. You don't want it to brown because we wanna make sure that we're toasting this lightly. So I can see my butter has begun to melt. So I'm gonna lower down my heat here a touch to about a low heat. And now I'm gonna add in my bread. And you really wanna just press it, making sure that all that butter and oil gets soaked up inside that bread here. And it doesn't have to be super crisp. You just wanna make sure that it's nice and warm and heated through. And you can use any bread you want. You know, classic Philly cheesesteak is going to be a hoagie bread. You can also use a French bread if that's all you have. It's gonna be delicious regardless. But if you wanna to stick to the classic, the choice of bread will be a hoagie. So I can feel that, you know, on the side it's getting nice and warm. So I'm gonna go now and flip it over. And again, it doesn't have to be crispy here. We're just making sure that it's nice and toasted so that this is ready for when we add in all that filling. Okay. And that is done. Now that our meat has been marinating for 30 minutes, let's take it out and start cooking it. So we're gonna cook this in a cast iron. Go ahead and cook it in any you know, pan that you have at home. But we're gonna cook it in a cast iron so that we can get a nice uh, sear on that meat. So put that on high heat, add a touch of oil. And we're gonna wait here and let this get hot. And once it's about to uh, almost smoke, that's when we're gonna start adding in our meat. So you can always tilt that pan a little bit to make sure that that pan is fully covered in that oil. All right, now let's drop in that marinated meat. So I like to, you know, just kind of pour it in there. All right, so we're gonna let this cook out and I can see that it's cooking nice and beautifully here. And it doesn't really need too much time since you know this is ribeye and they're cut really thin. So now I'm going to transfer that over into a bowl. So I want this sauce to reduce a little bit further and that's why I'm separating the sauce from the meat so that it's not too watery. Now that that sauce has reduced, I'm gonna turn this off and pour it all over my meat. All right, so meat is out. We're gonna use the exact same pan here since it has a lot of that good flavor from that beef. We're gonna add in a touch of oil here. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to start cooking up those onions as well as that bell pepper. Our pan is hot, so let's add that onion and those bell peppers. So just stir that up and make sure that that's really coated in that fat from that beef. And we really wanna cook this up until it's nice and soft. And then you get a little bit of nice caramelization on those onions. All right, my onions are nice and caramelized. That bell pepper is nice and soft. So let's go and add in all of that ribeye that you had cut up. And let's mix it all together. And last but not least, it is not a Philly cheesesteak if there's no cheese. So let's add that cheese right on top. And I'm just adding some provolone here. Or if you're in the Philippines, you can add a little bit of cheese bees also known as cheese whiz. <laughs> and once you have that cheese fully melted into that mixture, just now go ahead and put that over that toasted hoagie.
Robbie, come here. <laughs> now, let's see. <laughs> Miggy, come here. <laughs> Christine's missing out. I want to try this out, folks. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Grab it! That's <laughs> going in. <laughs> that calamansi. Ang sarap sarap. Shapo si Travis Craft. Ako po si Travis Craft. Ang sarap sarap.